Blow. We're going to talk about the impact of accounting transactions on financial analysis, meaning ratios. And we're going to be looking at the net income and earnings per share, which have to do with profitability. We're going to look at the liquidity ratios of current ratio and working capital, and we're going to look at the solvency ratio, which is debt to worth or debt to equity, which is total liabilities over total shareholders' equity. So we're going to now take a look at what if we lend money to others. So we're going to lend a notes receivable to whoever. And if we do lend, that means that we're going to debit a non-current asset called note receivable, and we're going to credit cash. So notice a current asset is going down, and a non-current asset is going up. So we're trading one asset for another. Since both of these have to do with assets, there's nothing about the income statement here. There's no revenue or expense involved. But when we look at the current ratio, because our cash, a current asset, is decreasing, that means the numerator is getting smaller, current liabilities don't change, and so the current ratio overall will decrease. Working capital, current assets minus current liabilities, well, since current assets are shrinking, that means the working capital will also be reduced. As far as debt to equity, uh, since these are both current assets, or assets, one current and one long term, there is no impact on liabilities or shareholders' equity, so there's no impact there. Well, the best part about lending money is that you earn interest. So let's have interest earned, but it's not yet received. In other words, it's one of those accrual entries we make at the end of the year to recognize that the, the time value of money that the, the borrowers owe you not only the principal repayment, but also some interest. And we remember that this entry is, we debit interest receivable, and interest receivable, remember, is a current asset account, so it's going up. And we're going to credit interest revenue. And so that's a revenue account, and revenue's going up. So revenue's going up, current assets are going up. Well, if revenue goes up, my net income will go up, won't it? And if my net income goes up, my earnings, my net income per share, will also increase. Current ratio. Well, what's happening here? Current assets are going up. And so by now, you know that if the current assets increase, the numerator's getting bigger, right? So the current ratio will also increase. Working capital will also increase because the current assets are a larger number minus current liabilities results in a larger number. When we look at debt to equity, though, remember our revenue's going up, which means our net income's going up, which results in stockholders' equity increasing. So the denominator, the lower number, is getting larger. So a larger number into total liabilities, which remains unchanged, means that the debt to equity or debt to worth ratio is going down. So hopefully this helps you on lending money to others and the impact on financial analysis.